So for today's video, it's actually my birthday on the day that I am posting this. So I wanted to do something a little bit fun for this video, like a little bit different, spice things up a bit. Also, this hair is like driving me crazy. So in order to like not touch my hair in the mo video, the movie, I'm gonna try not to touch it, but it's there. It's annoying me, just so you know. Anyways, I wanted to do something fun for this video um, just because it is my birthday and I wanna try new things on this channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be reacting to the very first video I posted on this channel. So firstly, let's pull it up. Like I already know what it is. It is, I think like how to get with an Aries man, how to get, with an Aries man. And this was filmed or posted anyways on February 9th, 2012. I posted videos such a long time ago. And my info is tips on how to get with an Aries man and what they're like when it comes to dating. And I feel like I probably put that info in later on in time. <laughs> so let's see what's going on here. Let's start it right from the top. I haven't watched this video in so long. I know a lot of my old videos are like terrible quality, so just bear with me. <laughs> um, I don't know, I really didn't know anything about what I was doing. I still don't really know what I'm doing. Like, let's be real, but let's watch this. Nice little intro. Hi, so today I'm talking about the Aries. Oh my God, it looks scary. <laughs> my eyes are like black holes of like darkness. It's kind of creepy. My hair is pretty wild as well. It's a different color and um, I have absolutely no eyebrows, so that's fun. But who cares really about the appearance? I just think it's funny. I think my background's hilarious. It was like a fitted sheet, I think, that I had in my room and I hung it up behind me. There's like tons of shadows. I still have the shadow issue, like who cares? But um, yeah, I love how I'm like sitting probably on top of it and it's like hung over my closet. I remember that. <laughs> Man. And this is about how to get with an Aries man or be in a relationship with one. So this is the first sun sign of the 12 in the zodiac. First of all, like, what is that noise? It's like, t -t 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 -t. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a super old school, like, horror movie being filmed or something. I don't know. And I think my necklace says Capricorn on it. So I was, like, trying, you know, to show my love for astrology even back then. <laughs> This is for a person born between March 21st and April 19th. So many bracelets. Macho and manly on the outside, you know, just like your man's guy, your man's man, or your guy's guy. Your guy's man? <laughs> um, but on the inside, this. I still had the really choppy editing back then. I don't think I've really gone too far from that. <laughs> this guy is probably like your knight in shining armor type. You know, he'll try to protect you even if you really don't want protecting. But, I mean, it can be good or it can be bad, so maybe if you want- Did I just wink? Like, did I just do an unintentional wink? I think that that's cute at first, that's nice, but sometimes it goes a little bit over the top with an Aries man. This guy, he's fun, he's adventurous, he loves living life, he loves taking chances, you know, he's always pursuing something exciting or something that he's into. I love that my background moves with me. Interested <laughs> in, you know, he's never just, for the most part, sitting around being boring or not really having an interest so being bored like that. like that then it's definitely the guy for you um because it can be a very exciting experience to be with an aries man so looking down at my notes there so because i am someone i always write a ton of notes like before videos especially ones like these where it's a lot of information and that really hasn't changed i just have to give you a number one tip i just want to know like why my eyeshadow is so far down in this like What's that about? What is my number one tip? Let him chase you. Do not pursue this man. Do not chase him, okay? Because he loves the chase. He loves to pursue- Kind of bossy. Don't do this, don't do this, or else it's not gonna work. Like, not always the case. Um, obviously, it's all about people's charts. <laughs> but I think I do think it's true. I do agree still that Aries, men and women, um, you know, like the chase a little bit, uh, and they don't really want to be pursued as much as they want to try to pursue someone else. So I'm definitely in agreement with what I have to say here so far. And if you try to go for him, he's going to be turned off, um, you know, more times than not. So he loves chasing his... Am I wearing like a club band like on my wrist? Like it looks like I have one of those bands that they put on you to say like, yes, you can drink in the club. <laughs> And I apparently just like didn't take it off. I don't know. I think that's what that is. Probably is knowing me. Uh, image of a woman. So just if you can and you want him and you're trying to get him, be a little bit mysterious because that's what he likes. He doesn't really like the whole open book. Let me tell you all about myself right from the start. He likes 
True. I think. The idea of falling in love with this perfect goddess idea of a woman that really doesn't exist in reality and he lives in a kind of dream world. But if you can kind of... I feel like my hair is like very Leo-esque right here. It's got that reddish tinge to it, a little orange, and it's like lioness. Keep his dream world alive by being a bit mysterious at the beginning and, you know, kind of like shutting him down but coming, uh, keeping him coming back. Then that's probably the best way to get this man to stick around and get over the idea that not every woman is his ideal, you know, non-existent woman. Uh, if you can, be tough. Let him come to you. Be mysterious. And eventually, if you do end up in a relationship, you know, then that's the time for opening up. Because this man is totally vulnerable in relationships, and that's when he really lets his guard down. But until that point, it's just not him to be, you know, wanting to hear everything about you and letting this uh, fantasy th you see that weird eye thing again like wanting to hear everything about you <laughs> honestly like so far my information is like stuff i would still say now um i thought like my info would be not as good because like i said i haven't watched this in so long and i've just like learned so much in the past what seven years that i thought like what i was saying probably wouldn't make sense but i you know like 2012 grace knew her Aries men as well as she does now, apparently. Good for you. Has a boat should be broken. That'll come later. But let there be a little time before that happens. Realize when you're first... That look was, like, so <laughs> seductive looking. You can flip between being, like, the most generous, protective, sweet guy, and, you know, like, nobody else can beat that for him. And then all of a sudden he flips, and it's like he is completely insensitive to your feelings. So that's this kind of guy. He's constantly changing. And this is one of the signs that is a changing sign. A changing sign? <laughs> I'm not quite sure what I meant by a changing sign. Um, Aries is a cardinal sign. It's not a mutable sign, which is like what I think I would have meant. But obviously Aries is not a mutable sign. Um, I'm not really sure what I meant by that. A changing sign. I don't know. It kind of sounded like I was describing um, Gemini's there for a second, didn't it? He can kind of be insensitive to your feelings sometimes and you know you the sound of... quality on this is so bad It like literally sounds like I'm in a cave in the middle of a storm and Somebody's clicking like a constant picture because it's 1923 So if you want to be with this guy other than letting him court you court You have to kind of be a little bit from two different worlds And I know this kind of doesn't make sense, but this is the kind of guy that likes a porn star and the girl next door mix into one. And I mean, you're not always going to get that, but have a little bit of yourself here and there. You know, offer two things that kind of contradict each other, because this guy loves it, he laughs it up. I feel like I'm like giving advice to like change yourself <laughs> in these videos, kind of like, well, you can pretend to be like this, this, and that, but I feel like it's not how I meant it. I was just kind of explaining what an Aries man is typically drawn to. <laughs> Just funny how it kind of comes across. You're trying to win him over. I'm not telling you not to be yourself, but if you have that going for you, let it shine. Okay, I redeem myself there a little. He also, likes he also likes women that respect themselves and are strong, which is great. I would hope every man would like women like that. For that, he loves a woman that's independent, but on the other hand, he can get pretty jealous and possessive. This man loves freedom. He loves, you know, like I said, adventure, excitement. Which, if you want to be with him, you should definitely love to. Not necessarily. You can like your own things. But definitely don't try to control this guy. Let him be his free spirit type. Let him live his life the way he wants to live it. And hopefully, you know, he'll do the same for you and you'll make him do the same for you. So don't let his jealous, possessive ways take over. And don't act that way for him. Yeah, I feel like I'm like very like, don't do this, do this. Like I already said that, but I also feel like I'm focusing a lot on the negative so far like I don't know I feel like I'm focusing very much on like well they're jealous they're possessive you need to be like this to be with one um and in the future I definitely want to do videos that are a little more positive um I didn't like intend to I think that's just like kind of how it came across and I want to know like what I film this on it's not terrible it's not great by any means <laughs> so this sign you know is like i said one of the signs that has the most ability for change where he can make changes in himself which a lot of people struggle with more than he does so that's great um it can be a positive thing just make sure that he doesn't try to change you because that can happen with the aries man but you want to make sure that it doesn't so if you kind of get that 
idea, I kind of back off because this guy kind of does, like I said, have this ideal image of a woman. Not really quite sure what I'm saying there. If you kind of get that idea, I kind of back off. Like, I'm not really sure what I meant. <laughs> but, I don't know. Let's continue. Sorry, this is probably kind of boring. Like, You know, and so if you want to know if an Aries man likes you, you'll know. This guy is direct about it. He'll approach you. He'll ask you on a date. He'll flat out tell you he thinks you're hot or he likes you. That's true. Um... You know, as for matches and what makes a good love match with an Aries, you know, the other fire signs, Leo and Sagittarius, make the best matches with an Aries for the most part. Aries and Aries don't do so well together because they kind of butt heads. Um, Gemini, which is an air sign, also makes a good match with the Aries. Um, Libra and Aquarius also make kind of a good match with Aries, but it's kind of the kind of match that's just like more about passion, and it might fizzle out. I don't know how much I agree with like what I'm saying here. I feel like my thoughts have changed a lot on the compatibility. And as far as the water signs, I mean, you know, water puts fire out, so it's not normal. Water puts fire out, so. <laughs> so what? <laughs> but for the most part, they tend to not really work out in relationships. That's such a broad, vague thing to say. Like, I don't agree with that now at all. Um, you know, and like I said before, this isn't all um, completely true or anything like that. Like, everybody... <laughs> This is all just a hoax. <laughs> You're born doesn't determine all these things about you exactly. So just keep that in mind. And so I hope you enjoyed this, and I hope you have a great day for me. Oh, I even said that back then. I love the little scroll. Like, that really hasn't changed much. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe. <laughs> uh, I feel like I was like, I did so much research for that. Like, you can see me with my looking down on my little notes. <laughs> I look so young there. I was only probably like 22, 23. So it's just kind of sweet. I was just starting to really get into it and really fall in love with it. Not just get into it, but I was definitely really starting to become passionate about it then. And I remember at the time when you look up like astrology videos, there's so many now, but at the time like YouTube was a much smaller place and there really wasn't much out there. And I remember being excited to put that out and then totally forgetting that I put a video up. I think I watched it myself a few times to give it some views <laughs> and then I was like whatever like no one's gonna see this and I checked back a few months later and there had been some like people that watched it like a few hundred people and like some comments and I was like oh my god I have four subscribers <laughs> and I was just like all excited but um I think I did like a pretty good job I was definitely that was like not an overall description of an Aries whatsoever. I feel like I left a ton out. I mean, I know it's a shorter video, but I feel like I focused heavily on just a few certain points and like left a ton of stuff out that really, you know, is relevant and like can say a lot more about an Aries. I definitely don't think I gave like a full description of an Aries man or woman. So yeah, that was my first little video forever ago. Um, I just think it's funny. I think it's cute. <laughs> Like, my first one, I feel like I, like, did a pretty good job. Like, I thought I was going to be stumbling over my words more or just, like, really awkward, but I feel like I just did okay. I would love to look back at some videos, like, the ones that really seem to cause an uproar, like the Why Your Sign Sucks ones that I did a long time ago. Some of those beginning ones would probably be pretty amusing to watch because I think, like, I was trying to have a good time with it and be funny and they're probably so awkward. So maybe I'll watch one of those in a future video. Um, give me a thumbs up if you want me to do that or like leave it in the comments down below. I thought the video was going to be more awkward to be honest, but it is what it is. So um, yeah, I will see you in my next video. I'm trying to post now on Tuesday and Fridays, but like keyword is try. So I'll see you in my next video. And as I said in 2012, have a good day or night.